Hi and welcome to our MT5 demo tutorial. As you can see I've opened a demo account with HFM, previously known as Hot Forex. Today I'm going to run through how to change your chart options and settings, how to add instruments to your watch list, how to change time frames and zoom in and out on your charts, how to add indicators to your charts, how to add volume indicators to your charts, and then how to enter a trade. And as we mentioned in our podcast, uh, we are doing MT5 instead of MT4 because Metacrotes has actually stopped offering licenses to brokers for MT4. If you want to hear more about where we mentioned this in our podcast, you can go to fxscouts.com. Once you've opened a demo account, as I've done here with HFM, you may want to change your chart options or settings. And as you can see, I've got a line chart open here. And if I want to change it to a candlestick chart, I can do this by clicking the chart I'm interested in. So I'm going to go down here to Euro USD. And as you can see, this is also a line chart. And I'm going to then click on the candlestick options on the menu at the top. Um, so if you can see on this toolbar it says candlesticks and I'm going to click on that and as you can see the candlesticks appear. You can do the same thing by right clicking on the chart. So if I right click you'll see again you've got the option of bar charts. If I click on that, that'll appear. Right click again, candlesticks. Or if I want to change it back to a line chart. And there we go. If you, most other accounts, uh, maybe not most other demos, allow you to also right click and then change the properties of the chart that's available. But you can't do this on this MT5 account. And then what you can do is you can actually change the candlestick colors. So if you want the bear candles to be red and the bull candles to be green, which is usually how they're displayed, you can do that in the properties tab. But this is not available here. Another important thing to be able to do is to change your watch list to the symbols that you're interested in. As you can see here, the, the market watch list is already displaying on the left hand side of my screen. But if it wasn't, what I'd do is I'd, I'd go to the view tab at the top here, click on that. And if you click on market watch, it'll disappear because it was already available, but I'll click on it to make it reappear. Now that your market watch list is there, if you want to add a symbol to your watch list that may not be displaying, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the symbols icon at the top of the toolbar here. When you click there, what you'll see is a list of all the major categories. So for example, if I wanted to add, let's say, Ethereum to the list, I would click on Ethereum uh, and here you'll see it gives you all the information. It is a crypto, it is, it has certain swap fees as you can see over there and then it shows you the, the trading sessions that are available and I'm going to click show and you'll see it appears on this in the watch list at the bottom of the watch list here and the Bitcoin. So it's as simple as that. There's another way to add symbols and what you can do is you can click click to add here at the bottom and then you can simply search for a uh, symbol. So if I type in let's say USD, oh, let's add gold. Great, now it's just added to the watch list here. You'll also see that there's another tab. So there's the symbols tab which just shows you the, the symbols that you're, you're interested in but you can also type, uh, click on details. And here you will find the price information for gold, for example. If you want to change the time frame of a chart, which is obviously a very important feature, you can either right click on it. So you can right click on this chart and you will see time frames listed there. And then you can obviously choose your time frames, one minute, five minute, 15, you know, all the way up to monthly charts. Um, so I can change it to a one minute chart or you can just go to the top of the toolbar and you'll see the same time frames listed there and what you should know is that each candle on these various charts represents that time frame so each candle on the one minute chart represents one minute and on the five minute chart it represents five minutes. 
really cool feature is that you can zoom in and out of your chart. You can see it says 1 December here at the bottom, but it might be a little bit difficult to read the information there. So what you can do, you can obviously see these uh, plus and minus um, symbols in the little magnifying glasses. And if I uh, increase the zoom, it's obviously easier to see what's going on here. And then I can go back to normal zoom or zoom it out to maybe get a little bit of a broader overview of the chart. What you can also do is you can right click again on the chart and the zoom in and zoom out features show up at the bottom. And again, same thing, we'll zoom in and out and we'll zoom it back in again. So that's also a very nice feature. Another important part of trading is to be able to add indicators to your chart. So if you want to add an indicator, simply click on the chart that you want to add the indicator to. So if I choose Bitcoin, what I'm going to do is I will go to the insert tab at the top of the platform here and then I will click on indicators and I'm going to choose from, you can obviously see there's a wide range of indicators you can choose from, trends, oscillators, volumes, or Williams. And I'm going to choose moving averages since it's the most widely used indicator. I click on that and you can see that you've got different parameters. So I can choose the period or number of candlesticks, you'll see this over. It. and you can choose the type of moving average you've either got simple and exponential on the other sort of mainly used moving averages and then you also have smooth and linear weighted I'm going to choose an exponential indicator and I'm going to click oh you can also look at visualization so it shows on all time frames as you can see or you can choose the specific time frame you want it to display so I've wanted to display on one minute I will do that but it's helpful to have it across all time frames, especially if you can have different charts up at the same time. And you click OK, and as you see, it displays there. Then you can also you can also right click and do the same thing. Click Indicators List. Just move this up a bit. Now, if you want to delete the indicator or edit the indicator, you click on the indicator. So you right click and then you click on the indicator itself, and you can either change the properties. To make it a 12 period moving average, okay, or you can actually delete the indicator if you don't want it there. Delete, and then you see it disappears. If you want to add volume indicators to the chart, you can go to the same menu as I showed before. So you go to indicators, and there you'll see volume. So I'm going to click on volumes. You can choose the parameters and the visualization again, which time frames you want it on. I'm going to leave it as one. And there we go. You see time, the volumes are displayed at the bottom of the trading platform here. If you want to get rid of the volumes, you can right click on the volume here, go to indicators, again, select volumes and delete. And off it goes. If you want to enter a trade, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the new order button at the top of the platform, click on that and you see a dialog box will appear. If you want to open Ethereum, you click on that, a trade on Ethereum. Then here you're going to choose the type of order you want, a market order or a pending order. I'm going to leave it as a market order. Here you're going to select your volume in lots, so I'm going to open a one lot order. Then you can click on your stop loss and your take profit. You don't have to set these. Obviously, as a beginner, we would suggest setting a stop loss and a take profit just to manage your risk. And then you can choose your fill policy over here. The fill or kill means that the trade will be opened only if the specific volume uh, can be achieved. And if not, then your trade will be canceled. You can then click on which direction you want your trade to go if you want to sell or a buy order 
um, I'm gonna click on a sell order. And as you can see, market sell Ethereum USD at that price and done. So if I go to, if I click on Ethereum over here, chart window, it's appeared at the bottom here, you will see the level at which I sold. You also have one click trading and this will be displayed at the left hand corner of your screen. Here you set the volume, so I can set it at three lots and I can set a buy order and all I do is click on buy. Again, the one click trading always asks you to accept the terms and conditions. It basically outlines that your order might experience slippage. So that's something to be aware of. Okay, and I click buy and there we go. If you don't find these at the top left hand corner of your chart, you can go to options uh, and select one click trading. Let me do that again. And then again, it'll send this dialog box and you'll have to click that you accept the terms and conditions and click OK. So I've now gone through the basics of MT5, the very basics of MT5. And uh, I think Chris has done a little bit more of an explanation on CTrader. Um, CTrader is obviously our preferred platform, but a lot of brokers don't offer CTrader. Um, hopefully in the future that'll change, and especially with the, the Apple policies on MT4 and MT5. And again, because MetaQuotes is no longer offering brokers licenses for MT4, we would suggest practicing on a demo on MT5 if you are going to start your trading career, because obviously then you get to know the platform and familiarize yourself with it.